Hello everyone, my name is Ben and these are my thoughts on what I think to be the best value computer of 2022, the Zenbook 14 OLED. Now, this is a stunning computer. Um, let's start on the outside of it. On the outside you have this beautiful aluminum. It has a nice um, design to it. It's a lot different than previous Asus laptops. You can see those lines, they're shiny, and the entire body of it is metal. And that's something I didn't even expect when I bought the computer. I thought it'd be mostly plastic. The only plastic on it is this shiny, um, this shiny piece right here that's along with the hinge and that happens to be plastic. But the rest of it is aluminum. And you will notice when you just open it um, or even you carry it around, it kind of creaks a little bit. It's not the most solid um, computer I've ever had, but all things considered, it's really nicely built for the price. Um, I think another thing that's nice about it is that fingerprint scanner up there in the top left, or top right that is. It's super fast, works really well, and even when you're waking the computer when it's powered off and you put your finger on that power button, it'll remember your fingerprint and log you in straight into Windows. Super cool little feature there. I think though, the stunner of this computer has to be that display. And let me just turn it up a little bit so you can see um, First off, how much my computer or my camera doesn't do it justice, but just how incredible that display is. Um, it really is stunning, and I've never seen a, a laptop screen that is as good as this one. And I've seen lots of computers at Best Buy near $2,000 that don't look as good as this display. Um, on top of it being AMOLED and having those super deep blacks, it's a 90 hertz panel. So you can see just moving things around and opening things um, obviously my camera won't capture it nearly as well, but it's really smooth and that just makes it a joy to use. Um, on top of that, your experience here with the camera or the keyboard and the trackpad is also really good. The keyboard isn't quite as solid feeling as a MacBook keyboard. Um, I think if you see me just typing on it and there's a little bit of flex there. Um, so it's not as solid as the MacBook might be, but it is a good keyboard and I was able to enjoy it and get some good use out of it. Um, also, the trackpad here is also surprisingly good. If you can hear it, it has a really nice click to it. Um, and that's something that actually, being a usual a MacBook user here, I have my M1 MacBook Pro. Um, I actually really enjoyed having that solid click to it because MacBooks have the haptics and that just don't make it quite as satisfying. Obviously, you're, it's the diving board style, so up here you can't click it, um, but it has super good tracking, it's really sensitive, and it's nice. I mean, even as a MacBook user, I was able to enjoy it and get good use out of it. Um, just going to the negatives though, I think the biggest negative that I had with it is battery life. Um, you're only able to get maybe three or four hours out of it before you're struggling with it. Um, right now I'm at 70% and I've just had it sitting around on standby for a couple of days. Uh, standby isn't good and when you're using it, it gets hot, the fan turns on and you'll notice the battery drain quite a bit. Um, but besides that, I think there's not a lot of cons to this computer. Um, the only th other thing I can think of is there's a fan that comes out of here. Uh, it's really hard to see that, but there's a fan that comes out of there. And frequently when the computer is in any sort of load, even if it's just light load, you'll hear the fan and it doesn't just stay on at a constant um, speed, but it'll kind of go up and down constantly. And that's even with the latest firmware and installing all the updates I can think of. It kind of goes up and down, up and down, and it's really annoying and not a very satisfying um, pitch. So it's, it's just quite a bit less enjoyable of a fan experience than say an M1 MacBook Pro. <laughs> um, but outside of that, I would say this is a winner computer. I think right now it's at Best Buy for $549. And I would argue even at $750, which is the normal list price, this is the best computer you can get for the money. Uh, it's fantastic. I think the only thing I would think about is if you are used to having a touchscreen or if you like the idea of a touchscreen on the display, this is not a touchscreen. 
Uh, I did miss out on that a little bit coming from using Surface laptops and other um, premium laptops beforehand. I did miss the touch screen. And um, just keep in mind that battery is not gonna last as long and the body of the computer is not quite as well built as the very best computers. But all things considered, I cannot think of a better way to spend $550 or even $750 if you can't get it on sale for this computer. So big thumbs up from me. I hope this video helped out and please let me know down below if you have any other experiences with this awesome machine. Thank you.